Wow, I almost didn't see you there. Probably on account of all the distracting glare from this very shiny Intercontinental Championship title. What's this all about? Ding dong, hello! I'm the first ever women's Intercontinental Champion! Man, even for someone like me who already holds so many records, it's pretty impressive. Right. And how exactly did you even win this? I don't remember hearing anything about a women's intercontinental champion in WWE. That's because it's not just for WWE, but for the entire world, you idiot! Hence the name of it, Intercontinental. Anyway, I won it in an epic tournament in Rio de Janeiro against the best wrestlers from all the continents. It was so exclusive, cameras weren't even allowed. And when the final match was over, it was me, Bailey, standing over the decimated competition. I can still hear the roar of the crowd shouting my name, Bailey, the greatest of all time. In fact, I'm not only going to be the first ever women's intercontinental champion, I'm going to be the only women's intercontinental champion. No one will ever beat me. They'll actually rename it the Bailey Continental Championship. Has a great ring to it now that I think of it. Pretty confident about all that, huh? Why wouldn't I be? What, are you going to prove me wrong? As a matter of fact, I am. I could use a little shine around my waist. You probably could, but you won't. Don't worry, I'll take it easy on you. Ah, who am I kidding? I definitely won't. Hey, not to be impatient, but when am I going to get my intercontinental title match with Bailey? It's been a hot second. Your intercontinental title match with Bailey? What are you even talking about? She said she'd give me a shot. Yeah, but a shot at what? The championship she won a few weeks ago in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro? Are you kidding me? That girl wasn't in Rio. She was off because her dog was getting a root canal. <sighs> Just like Bailey to invent something fake. Ugh, I knew it didn't all add up. Too bad, because despite the lies, it actually isn't a bad idea. But I guess it doesn't matter now. Bailey may be full of it, but you're right. Having a women's IC title is a good idea. It's about time, right? If only there were some kind of authority figure who could make it an officially recognized title. Hmm. Oh wait, there is, me. And since Bailey's already agreed to it, I see no problem with giving you a title opportunity. A real title opportunity. Wow, I guess people should invent titles more often, huh? Don't get any ideas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Let's see what she can do. Well, she was once one of the sweetest. She's now... Introducing the challenger from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Helen Lance. And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, the women's intercontinental champion. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line.
The WWE trophy case recently got a little bigger when Mandy Rose verified Bailey's Intercontinental Championship, and that title is on the line here tonight. Bailey may not have any proof to back up her alleged victory in Brazil, but there will be no hiding the results tonight on Raw against her talented challenger. I doubt Bailey's worried about that, Saxton. The defending women's intercontinental champion always brings her best stuff for the bright lights of Monday Night Raw. Oh, jarring back elbow into the corner now. Picking up speed. Drop kick. She's going out. Top rope hit from the half. Avoids the assault. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Now oh, trampling the opposition. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Women's Intercontinental Champion and the first superstar who actually won it. I'll be sure to do you proud, Mandy. I'm sure you will. Not so fast, ladies. What makes you think you're the Intercontinental Champion? I must have hit you harder out there than I thought. The match I just won, for starters. Oh, you won the match. But I guess you didn't read the fine print in the contract you signed before the match. It's an Intercontinental Championship, you dummy. Which means that, just like the contract says, you have to beat three international superstars BEFORE beating me. Sorry, but I don't make the rules. What are you talking about? You made up this title in the first place, so you definitely made the rules. Mandy, tell her I'm champion. I actually have to side with Bailey on this one. She may have made this title up, but I made it official. And it was in the contract you signed. Superstars actually have to start reading those. To be fair, she probably doesn't even know how to read. Do you want me to read or fight? Is it so hard to do both? Geez, just beat three international superstars and then we'll talk. I'll make sure you get your opportunity with Bailey. And don't sass your GM. Yeah, and work on your reading skills. Here we go. She is... Well, she's scary, all right. The queen of the Scots. And the best high flyer in the women's division. Oh, some will say that. Things have taken a litigious turn here on Monday Night Raw after Bailey cited a legal loophole to retain her Women's Intercontinental Championship. A loophole? Contracts are king, Cole. The rules are the rules. Bailey's just enforcing it. Oh, how noble of her. Even after beating Bailey, Kaylee Ray's opponent must now beat three international superstars to win another opportunity at Bailey's title. And that oh, here we go. The women's intercontinental champion Bailey just had to get involved. It looks like Bailey might be toying with her potential challenger yet again. Scouted. 
She adjusts it and reverses it. She shoots up the top from the heavens. What? Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. And this match will head back to the ring. Two. This is her time to shine, and don't you forget it. Three. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Brutal knee right to the face. This spells trouble for Ray. Kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Ray looks like he's a sitting duck right now. She's gonna try it again. Oh, knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. That can certainly do it. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. Close as it could get without it all being over for her. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. This would be an amazing upset. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Helen Lance. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. She's in a fighting mood tonight. And here comes Natalia. And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she can chew. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. Then you have someone like Natalia, who always has large shoes to fill, coming from the well-respected Hart family. And think about the pressure of living up to that name. Yet Natalya does so with ease each and every time she steps foot in the ring. That's what makes her the bump. And, and here's Bailey to seemingly get a closer look at her potential Intercontinental Champion challenger. A closer look? Or is Bailey doing anything she can to avoid facing her? to get past the one count yet. And the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Targeting the ankle. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Set up for the impressive oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Big side step by Natalya. Showing her competition what a real superstar looks like. She's able to get out of the way. And Zagiri finds its mark. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. Stomping down. And Zagiri drops him. Good defense. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Reminding her that all of these people really paid to see. Big form. Oh, the physicality and display there. Unbelievable. Target is set on Natty. She's in peril. Here's the tally with the reversal. There's a snap, Mayor. Oh, a basement. 
drop kick. Close to the tire's wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. The sharp center is locked in. This is excruciating. Look at the body. Look at how her body. Very unique escape to fight her way out of the sharpshooter. Into gear and finds its mark. She has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. Is she going to tap, 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 tap? What does she have to do to get out of this? Tap out. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh. counter. Takedown. And able to beat Natalia to the punch. She's got her in her sights. She wants it one more time. Oh, the job. Natalia wasn't ready. Now it could be over. You're getting a victory like that, you gotta be feeling pretty good about yourself. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say. Here she comes. And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she can shoot. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. And then there is Asuka, who has proven time and time again that she is as dangerous a competitor as it gets in WWE. I can't think of anyone with a more piercing offense at their disposal. Saxton, you're right that she's dangerous, but she's not invincible, especially in a post-undefeated streak world. She manages to get control. Seriously? Bailey's out here again? Yeah, because her potential challenger is on the verge of earning a rematch for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Bailey's desperate to prevent that from happening. Back slide, shoulders down. And she gets a quick kick out. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. <laughs> oh, what a kick. <laughs> oh, with authority. <laughs> she avoids the attack completely. A running hurricane. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. And now Asuka experiencing a little bit of what it's like to be cut down to size. And Zagiri finds its mark. Taking a moment to let her know who the real superstar is here. Oh, stomping away. Counters! We could be close to the end of the line for Asuka. Asuka's tangled here. Oh, and he's in the face. Will that stop Asuka? Cover. One, two, three. The referee clearly out of position. Here is your winner, Helen Lance.
No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. You're full of it, Bailey. But I did what your so-called contract asks. Three international superstars defeated. Shall I ask Mandy to set the title match, or would you like to do the honors? As much as I hate to admit it, I am impressed. Congratulations. You know, I've said it from the start, this Intercontinental Championship is a very prestigious title. After all, I hold it. But you've done the work, so I'll talk to Mandy. Wait, so you're really not going to try to weasel out of this? What kind of champion do you think I am? After all, you fulfilled the requirements of the contract exactly, and you know how much I respect official championship contract law. Right. Oh, but speaking of, there is one thing I forgot to mention. Since it is an international title, you know how when you apply for your passport or a visa, there's a waiting period before you get it? Yeah, the title contract actually also specifies a lengthy waiting period before we can set up the match you qualified for. You're kidding me. No, you're probably actually serious, aren't you? Aw, uh, don't worry. It'll go by fast. I mean, by the time the waiting period is over, I'll have probably broken the record as the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion ever, male or female. But to you, it will seem like the blink of the eye. I mean, heck, I guess there's a chance that you might not even be in WWE by then. So I don't know. Feel free to send me a card or something, or congratulate me on social media since you'll be retired. Hashtag longest reigning IC champion sounds good. Thanks. Can't wait to hear from you then. Toodles. Our women's intercontinental champion, Bailey, is apparently throwing herself some sort of celebration. The WWE Universe is not enthused. Today is a day that will surely be mentioned in all the effusive speeches when I, Bailey, am inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame because in just a few short moments, down to the exact minute when I first won this little beauty here, I will become the longest reigning intercontinental champion, not for the women, not for the men, but for all of WWE for all time. You idiots said I couldn't do it, but you know who never doubted me? Me! So let's join in and count down to the moment of my glory. It's only 20 minutes to go. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna be back in about 19 minutes. 1959, 1958, 1957, 1956, 1955, 1954. Come on, I can't hear you. 1950, 1949, 1948, 1947. Yes, thank you. I don't think I could have made it through that. No one could. It is a momentous day but not because you're going to break any records. Guess whose waiting period just ended? And that's fitting, because tonight is going to be a night of endings. Your intercontinental title reign is ending too. Right here, right now. We're going to have a women's intercontinental championship match coming up next. Finally, after jumping through countless hoops and waiting over a year, this could be the night that she takes Bailey's title. If it means not having to sit through one of these celebrations, I'm all for it. What an unbelievable turn of events. Bailey was mere seconds away from becoming the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history until her former rival hit the ring. It's been worth the wait, Michael. Bailey's challenger has been waiting patiently, counting the minutes until this moment, and I, for one, am here for it. I bet you are, Saxon, but here's an old WWE saying that's as true as ever. Opportunities don't come to those who wait. They come to those who fight. Well, the bell just rang, didn't it? It's the defending champion versus the pending. 
defending champion right now on Raw. Oh, nice suplex. Well, right after the shit into the dragon screw. on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Elbow drop on target. Momentum's with Bailey now. You can't expect any sympathy from Bailey here. And Zagiri finds his mark. Stomping. Ouch. Kick to the gut. that concludes with a title-changing hands. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. <laughs>